Hi there everybody, Bald and Curious here. So, do I still like grand powers? Not that many videos of them. Although, guys that know me, they kind of call me Mr. Grand Power. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing. No matter what happens, uh, this is always like my go-to go -to gun. I, for example, I shot a Long Island uh, Championship and uh, a couple of days before I was testing a new load with uh, with my Infinity and my goal was to shoot a limited a limited division and my extractor broke so uh, didn't get extract new extractor in time so I went I signed up for a production and I was gonna shoot my uh, uh, Grand Power Excalibur now I had different options I could have taken uh, the Hudson H9 I just got a bunch of magazines for that uh, you know I could get some of some of my other guns but uh, this just I shoot this better. On top of everything, well, these fit in a in a Glock holster. Okay, so if you got a Glock 34 holster, this will fit in it. If you got a Glock, uh, uh, actually, I'm not sure about Glock 34, but I know that uh, Extreme fits in a Glock 17 or Glock 19 holster. So, uh, and what happens is I come to the match. Obviously, I wasn't shooting limited, so out of my Safari Land rig, I took off my uh, Safari Land holster. And I never put my Grand Power holster on, so I came to the competition. I had no holster, so I'm running around begging who's got a who's got a holster. And there was a guy that actually met at the area eight, and he was shooting PCC instead of a production. So he took his uh, Glock holster off, and my extreme barely, but it fit in it. I had to take all the screws off. Uh, the guy had a double layer Kydex uh, Red Hill Tactical holster. But it worked. I wasn't shooting my uh, Excalibur. I, should I say I was shooting Excalibur frame, but with the extreme slide. And uh, all things considered, I think I did pretty good. So uh, yeah, this is still gonna be my go-to pistols. Uh, I'm trying to switch to my uh, 1911 and shoot ESP in uh, with that with that Wilson uh, next year in IDPA. But I haven't got the ruling from the IDPA yet if it's legal or not. Uh, now, as far as how they hold up, I mean, I had them a couple of years. Uh, the Excalibur frame has tens of thousands of rounds through it. And uh, the basically my Xtreme uh, is new, like a year ago or something, when they finally replaced it. But even that has probably at least 10,000 rounds on it. So, uh, uh, let me show you. Let me just show you the the extreme you can see the the wear which is mostly holstering and reholstering uh, dry fire practice here's the magwell you can see it all kind of beat up but everything holds up pretty good no no other major wear uh, if you remember I had a little wear on the inside on the on the original extreme I don't see any of that happening on this one so that's a, that's a good thing here's my Excalibur okay you can see the holster wear on a slide at the end from holstering and reholstering you can see that this frame is used a lot less uh, what I should really do is uh, order the springs uh, trigger return spring and uh, one more spring I believe uh, for the Excalibur and switch it to, and put it in this frame this way both of these guns will have <coughs> identical trigger uh, trigger pull right now the, the uh, Right now, the extreme uh, frame. Just double check these are all clear. Is a little bit heavier in a in a double action, not by much, but it's a little heavier. But where it really feels the difference is a single action. This is probably you no know, three and a half pounds, maybe a little more, four pounds. This is like two pounds, two and a half. Real, real nice. Reset is virtually the same, so. And uh, I put the same uh, back strap and the same uh, skateboard tape on it. And pretty much wherever I go, I bring them both. This way I have a backup gun. So let's shoot it a little bit. Let's see if they still shoot. And I'll try to do a little uh, slow mo for you.
Now the extra. Alright, there you have it. Still one of my most favorite guns. Even after pretty good wear and tear, they still hold up. And uh, I think the only thing I had to replace, I think on this one, or I'm not sure either Excalibur or this one, it was a firing pin spring broke. And uh, I, I just had some springs laying around from, from a CZ or something. I put that in and was flawless since. That was the only thing I had to really replace on, a, on the gun, other than sights. There you have it. As always, have fun, keep shooting.